Hello everyone and welcome to Fishing Simulator on Roblox. In this video, I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks on how to be good at this game, I guess. Can you really be good at this game? It's more of a grind really, but you can definitely make the grind less painful with some tips that I will give you in this video. So let's get to it, shall we? So I'm actually on my main account here. Uh, you can see I'm level 113. I'm a fishing overlord. I have some pretty decent stuff. I have a pretty big backpack. It can hold a thousand items, I guess. I have this fishing rod here, which is a mythical fishing rod from the Wandering Merchant. It was actually one that I had to buy with shards, which I will talk about in a little bit. And basically it was a 5% mutation chance, 35% rarity chance, and a 10% reeling speed. I also have a pet here, which is a magic parrot, and I actually have to equip that. So this gives 5% rarity chance, 5% base size, 5% mutation chance, and 5% hook speed. The last thing I think that I can show is, oh yeah, my backpack is actually also from the Wandering Trader, or Wandering Merchant, or whatever you want to call it. It is a glider, basically. So I can just get up onto this roof. There we go. I can get up here and then I can jump and press jump again. Oh, I messed that up. I can get up onto this roof and then I can jump and press jump again and then I basically can glide. But I didn't really get to a high point there, but it does work pretty good. All right, so I'm actually gonna show you guys on an alt account. Doing it on my main account, I'm not really gonna be able to show you stuff properly. So I'm gonna switch over to my alt account and then we will kind of take it from there. All right, so here we are in my alt account. You can see um, I'm level one. I'm wearing the old Fizz and Fuzz shirt that we used to have, but um, I, I wanted to do this so that I could show you guys right from the beginning because I'm probably gonna have uh, some issues showing you stuff from the beginning with my you know level one over 100 level account. So we gotta talk to this guy over here. Yep, that's Rodney, new to the island, yes coming empty-handed. So he gives you a fishing rod, the very first rod that you get. So now you have to just go and catch three fish. So we'll go do that real quick. So the way you catch fish is, well, first of all, if you're playing on PC, you can press shift to run, but um, that's what I'm playing on. So I'm gonna run out to the water here and I'm gonna press on my fishing rod and then I'm gonna cast. Oh, I didn't actually cast her into the water. So let's try that again. What? I am casting in the water. Oh my god. Okay, I think we need to aim further up. So there. there we go. Now, when you see the bubbles, you have to click or tap. And then you have to keep tapping and keep, in the, white, keep the white line on the green area here. So, and it takes a while to catch fish at the beginning, but you just gotta... There we go. So we got one. And so it was a rare bluefin tuna, okay? And because it was so, oh, Moby's out there. Okay, so Moby, for those of you who don't know, is one of the bosses in the game. They actually just introduced the second boss, the Kraken boss, which is kind of why I got into playing again, because um, I haven't actually played in a while. So I wanted to actually get back into it because of that. So Moby is out there, he's getting, a, he's getting um, out of the water and attacking the people who were fighting him. So we'll get into all that another time. But right now, this is just a, you know, the basics video. So you can see I caught my first fish. It's in my backpack here, it's over here. So the, your first six slots is where stuff will show up initially. So let's catch that second fish. Oh my God. Let's catch that second fish. What? I totally did cast it in the water that time. Okay, I think it's, yeah, it's fine. That was just a bug. Okay, so once again, the, the, um, the more rare the fish is, the harder it is to catch um, at the beginning. You can see that right now my white line is not moving as much as last time, so this was a common. Okay, so that's the second fish. Now I need one more. And I did cast her in the water. Okay, this is also going to be a common or an uncommon, one of the two. But it doesn't matter, we just want to catch three fish. So there we go. So we caught the third fish. Now we got to go talk to Rodney again. So we're going to run back over to him. And this uh, Cappy Barrel over here and the dude inside it is the mystery, or sorry, mystery, the uh, Wandering Merchant. So once you have enough shards, you can actually talk to him and buy some of the stuff that, you know, he's got over here. But we're not going to worry about any of that stuff right now. But just wanted to call out that that's who he is. So now we want to go back into here. And we want to talk to Rodney. 
Gee, I knew it was in your blood. Okay, now that you have yourself some fish, you can sell it for coins. Pay a visit to Castor down by the docks. Okay, so that's where you go to sell. So one quick thing, when you're starting out, there's these chests that are hidden around. You can open them and you get coins. So I got a thousand coins just for opening that chest. There's a few of them around the island. Um, I will show you where there, where another one is. Um, there is another one in the cave. Where's the cave? I'm going around circles here. <laughs> uh, the cave is right here. So you can just jump up here, go inside. This, this is um, where one of the quests is. So you can actually talk to this guy here. He always wanted to, he's always wanted to go further inside, but he, his grandpa said that he's too young. So there's a secret fishing spot somewhere down in these mines. Okay, so you want to ask how you get inside. There's a mine cart, it's currently broken, and then he wants you to catch 25 trout and put them in the barrel next to him, and that will open up that area. So we can do that, but we'll accept that quest. Um, I'm not going to actually do it, I just wanted to show you where this chest is, and it's right here. So that's another 500 coins. So yeah, there are a few chests around, you can find them. They're on every island, um, and you can see if you press on the map, you can see uh, there are all these islands here. Once you get high enough level, you can visit them all. But right now we're stuck to this one here because we don't have a boat. So now what we want to do is we want to run over and talk to Castor, who's over here. And this is where you can sell stuff. So yes, I have stuff to sell. Now I don't want to sell the trout because that is one of the quests that I have. So if you want to not sell something, you can just, uh, you can lock it on in your inventory. Now I'm not sure how to do it on mobile, but on PC, you just right click. So was this also a trout? No. Uh, so let's go back and talk to him. Yes. So it's a bluefin tuna I'm going to sell. So we can sell everything. It won't sell the trout because I locked the trout. So I can unlock it and I can actually, I should be able to move it. Oh, I have to do it like that. Okay. So we'll move that and then we'll lock it again. All right. So now my backpack can, can only hold eight slots. So the first thing that I wanted to mention was when you have enough money, the first thing you should do is go over to the supply shop, which is right here. And you want to talk to Finn. Now, I believe there is another chest over here under the stairs. Yes. I don't open chests anymore in my main account because I have a ridiculous amount of coins. So I actually don't need to open chests anymore. But so we want to talk to Finn. And when we talk to Finn, he tells us that he has a bunch of upgrades. So he also gave us something. And uh, I believe, yeah, he gave us a different backpack. So now we have a nicer, we have, we can hold a little bit more stuff. So we want to buy. So the things that you can buy from him are you can upgrade your rod. So this, these upgrades are for any rod that you have. It doesn't matter if you have the wooden rod or if you have, you know, a better rod, these will always be applied to the rod that you are currently upgrading. Hook speed is good. Reeling speed is good. Those are the two things that you want to focus on first. These two things will make it so that you can fish faster. So the hook speed is how long it takes for a fish to actually get hooked, basically. And then the reeling speed is how long you have to click for before you can actually reel it in. So when, when you see that the marker on the green bar and you have to keep tapping, tapping, tapping or clicking, 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 this will reduce that time. Strength is how much the the actual uh, marker goes back and forth on your on your uh, on the reel. So the, the more strength you have, the less it will go back and forth. So if you actually, uh, I'll show you when I actually go back out to fish, but if you if you make it go outside the green area, you will lose the fish. And and legendary or mythic, mythical fish will be, uh, will move that bar back and forth a lot faster. So um, yeah, you wanna watch out for that. Rarity chance is good, but you need, you need uh, gems for those and you can get those by completing quests. So we'll talk about that after. Spears are for attacking sharks. On the first ocean, you have, um, I can just show you on the map here. This is the first ocean, right? Um, 
Spears are good for uh, fighting sharks here, but when you go to the second ocean, which I can't actually see, uh, Timeless Tides, this is where the armored sharks are. So you actually want axes, which is where you, you can buy axes from that area. So let's get out of here. Now, the other thing that I wanted to mention was, um, oh yeah, don't focus on strength at the beginning, focus on the other two, hook speed and reeling speed. The other thing you wanna do as soon as possible is get a better boat. So we can talk to Deckard here. He sells boats and boat upgrades. Now he just gave us, um, I think a rowboat. So we can talk to him and say, we wanna buy a better boat. So this is the boat we have, we have a rowboat. It's really, really bad. You wanna get the speedboat as soon as possible, um, which is 7,000. The boat that I have is this one. I have the yacht. It's 25,000, it's not that expensive, and I actually still use this boat because uh, it gives a rarity chance of 10% if you upgrade that. And it has, um, you know, decent health and speed and stuff. But there are other boats that can give you stuff, but um, the rarity chance, in my opinion, is is good. So like the super yacht would be the next thing that you, you could go for potentially. I could probably save up for that, but I haven't bothered. Um, a lot of people like some of the other boats like uh, the Lamb Boat, which is this one, because it's, um, I guess it's pretty fast, but personally, I like the yacht. It works for me. So that's pretty much that. So uh, special items um, is, I I've never used this boat warp orb. It teleports you to your boat. I've never seen a reason to use that. Okay, so you wanna get the first boat as soon as possible. So what we're gonna do is, um, and also a backpack, you wanna you wanna get a backpack, but let's go and uh, talk to Rodney over here. Okay, so what does he want us to do next? Okay, so the main places you should keep, you should be keeping a sailor's eye out for is spin supplies, which we already went to, and then the boat shop, and most importantly, the aquarium. Now, I don't do anything with the aquarium, it's just, it's just to show off fish that you caught that are really good, but honestly, I don't bother with that myself. It's just for show. It doesn't really do anything outside of that. Okay, so next thing we want to do is we have, now we have 12 spots in our backpack. So the next thing you want to do is just go out and start fishing and just try and catch enough fish so you can make enough money. So I'm actually going to try and do that right now. I'll probably speed through this. What is this? Sharp, oh, that's for attacking sharks, yeah. You don't wanna bother with that. Don't bother with sharks until you're higher level, to be honest. It's not worth it. Just focus on getting your fishing skills up. Okay, so I just leveled up. I am level four now. And leveling up is, is good because it lets you get to the other islands. So once we're level 10, we can get to Eruption Island. So that's uh, the next step of where, what we want to do. So I'm going to keep catching fish here until I get my backpack to be full. Okay, so we're catching our last fish here that will fill up our backpack. And after we do that, I will tell you about the fish, de fish index. All right, so we got the fish. Now, um, you can see it says new fish variation discovered, right? Um, I'm actually going to unlock this. I'm going to sell this. I'm not going to bother with the quest right now. Um, because my backpack space is so small. So the fish index, you can see here, these are all of the areas that you can fish in, um, in the Jackson Archipelago. So these are the fish that I've caught so far. These are the ones that I have not caught. Basically, when you go to um, each of these areas, you can see that there are different things that, oh, I wasn't trying to fish there. There are different things, different prizes that you can get for completing the index for that particular area. So the first thing you need to do is you need to catch every size of all the regular fish. So if I if I click on one of these, you can see that the regular fish, the regular tuna here, I've caught one regular size, one small size. I still have to catch a large, a huge, and a baby. Baby and huge are the hardest to get. And large is, you know, large and small are the second hardest to get. Regular is obviously the easiest to get. So that's the first thing. So you want to complete all of those first to get the mutation boost. The mutation boost will let you catch mutations of each of the fish. So each of the fish have a different glow. So they have common glows, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, and uh, mythic, and albino. And then there's the Midas. 
The Midas is the hardest to catch. It's like a ridiculously small chance. And you can only catch it with a specific bait, which costs 1 million coins. Or there's a new rod that you can get that um, always lets you have a chance of catching the Midas fish. But that one is that is really expensive and you can only buy it from the traveling merchant dude. So you will catch different um, glows of the fish, but it's easier to catch those once you finish the first part because you get a, you do get a mutation boost. And wherever you see mutation additions to your rod or you know your boat, that's that's what that's for. It increases the chances of you getting a mutation when you when you're fishing. So that's that. So yeah, so the this is basically the long-term goal that you want to reach. You want to be able to complete the index. So you don't actually have to get every single mutation of every single fish um, or every single size and every single mutation of every single fish. You only have to catch, uh, you only have to get three mutations. Um, you have to catch all sizes of fish for any three mutations. So basically, if I go into Lufin Tuna, if I get all the regulars, if I get all the commons and all the uncommons, and I think, um, yeah, and all the rares. So if I get three different mutations, then that's enough. I don't need to get all the epics, legendaries, mythics, or albinos. So you just need three. That's still difficult though. That's still very hard. Like I've been playing for a while and I think I have, I'm at 87 out of 150. So, and I've been grinding pretty relentlessly when I was playing a lot. Um, I've started grinding again, but. So now I have to visit the aquarium and the boat supply store. So I've, uh, I just need to visit the aquarium now. So the aquarium is way over here. It's this gigantic boat looking thing, boat looking building over here. Okay, so we're just gonna go in there just so we can kind of finish the, that part of the quest off. Enter my aquarium. I'm not gonna get into the aquarium. I just wanna complete the quest. So it's done now, but you can add your fish in here. You go into edit and then you can add fish from your from your thing here, you just kind of, uh, I think you drag them. Yeah, you drag them. Nope, you don't drag them. Oh yeah, there we go. So that fish is now in my tank um, and you should be able to see it swimming around. Yeah, right there, you see it up there? So yeah, that's the aquarium, but I want that fish back. So we'll remove it and now we're gonna go sell them. So now we're gonna leave and then we're gonna just head over to Caster again. Over here are the chests where you can buy different things. So the silver chest contains some fishing rods and the uh, the breakdown of the rarities are here. This chest um, has better odds of getting better stuff, but of course it uh, costs more. Well, it costs a thousand gems and this one is just coins, I believe. Yeah, 5,000 coins. Um, and then this one over here, this is like the worst one, it only costs a thousand. So you can definitely try your luck at some of these. Um, I've definitely tried uh, getting um, good fishing rods from here, but ultimately I didn't use any of them once I got the, the rod that I have currently on my main. So, ooh, that person has a cool boat. Check that out. Noise. Okay, so that's that. Now, um, I actually had to do a cut because uh, I got a phone call, so I don't actually remember what I was saying, but Essentially, um, oh yeah, I need to sell all this stuff. So I'm gonna sell this stuff, sell it all. And I only got 273, but that's enough to kind of upgrade some stuff. So that's not bad. So I'm just gonna go back over here. Um, oh yeah, the pets, uh, that's the other thing. Now I did, I did mention the pet that I had, but you can open eggs over here, and it's kind of the same thing as the fishing rods. Um, and the pets basically just give you bonuses like, you know, rarity chance and stuff like that. So definitely get one when you when you can, but I would honestly focus on, you know, getting your supplies and stuff like that. So there is actually, um, oh yeah, and so this is, this is what I was going to say, um, the quest. So you want to get on these relatively quickly, but I don't know, I don't think you can do much when you're just starting out. So like this rainbow rainbow warrior one, you know, like a lot of these you need to be able to get off of um, off of the first island. This one, uh, bluefin tuna, twenty six bluefin tuna. You could could do that actually. And this one, magma swordfish. You need to get to the first uh, the second island for this one. So I'm not gonna bother with that. But essentially, you can see 
uh, this one here, you can, you can go track and they want 26 bluefin tuna. So that's definitely something that I can do. But the problem is I don't have that much space. But you, what you can do is once you fulfill part of a quest, you can come back and talk to him and then you can turn in that part of the quest. So if I get 12 bluefin tuna, I can come back and turn those in and then uh, I can go back and get the other 12. So you don't have to actually have enough space in your backpack. You can do quests little by little. So that's something that I actually didn't know until further down the line. So yeah, so that's basically that. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go over to the supplies shop, which is over here, and I'm going to upgrade some of my stuff. So like I said, you should focus first on hook speed and reeling speed. So I'm just going to split my stuff between those two. Okay, Ooh, and I'm out of money. So now I'm level six and level five on those two. And then if you do that quest, um, you will get, oh, and it's also, it's also timed. So keep an eye on that. I'm actually not gonna do the quest. I'm just showing you, I was just showing you how to do it, but keep in mind that the quests are timed once you start them. So yeah, um, so that's basically it. So now if you see when I go and actually try and fish, it's going to be easier. See, it, it came in faster. And the amount of time that I have to spend clicking over here is also a little bit less. So you got to work your way up on that um, to get better and better. But the more you invest in that, the faster you'll be able to fill up your bag and the, the, or the faster you'll be able to level up, basically. So the other tip that I have for you is if you have friends in this game, that really helps. So like I usually take new people out on my boat because my boat has 10% rarity chance. And um, you know, you, you can't, if you try and go to one of the areas that you're not allowed to go to yet with somebody else, it'll just eject you from the boat. So definitely don't do that. But um, yeah, you, you can definitely get people to help you by jumping on their boat. Oh, this is gonna be a good fish here. I think this is gonna be a legendary uh, swordfish. Oh, epic stingray. Okay, that's good. So those will sell for a decent price, so. Um, yeah, so do that. Get get on people's boats. Um, fishing, uh, sorry, fishing is good to focus on for the first first few levels, but uh, you can also go and hunt sharks. That's also a good way of getting money, but I wouldn't focus on that right away. Um, definitely, you know, try and get some of that stuff in before level 20, if you can. But honestly, I didn't do a lot of hunting myself when I first started. I just focused on the whole, you know, fishing side of it. So that's that. So you can keep doing that. Just keep catching fish, keep turning them into caster, making money and um, upgrading your stuff. And eventually you'll get to level 10 and you'll be able to get to the first island. So I'm going to sell all this. There we go, another 213. And then, you know, each island has quests that you can do. So um, they have different challenges. So the first, the first challenge um, on this island is an obby. So like I said, you have to finish that quest in the cave to actually get in. Um, or you have to get those uh, the fish that, that that kid wants to get into the cave. Once you get into the cave, there's an obby that you can do. Um, once you do that obby, you'll unlock a special uh, secret fishing area, which which just has different fish. So like these fish here are all in the secret, not this one, but a, a few of these are in the secret fishing area. And then the same thing with, with this island. Uh, Eruption Island also has an obby um, that you can do. And Eruption Island also has a lava fishing pole that you can get from completing the obby. It's a little bit, uh, it takes a little it takes a little while to do, but um, once you actually do that, then you can get the lava fishing pole and it lets you fish in lava in the lava area inside the volcano. So that's another thing that you're gonna wanna do eventually. And I just set a map marker. Yeah, you can set map markers um, on the map. So that's also something you can do. Um, so that's basically it. And then Moby is a whole other story. So uh, there's a place over here called Monsters Burrow right here. There's an island on Monsters Burrow that has an, a, a spot where you can uh, you can summon Moby, who is the boss that I showed you at the beginning. The way you get those uh, the the way you get to be able to summon him is you have to get keys from killing sharks, and that key will open up the 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 place over here that you can go in and you can summon him. Now you want to summon him when you have actual other people around who can fight him because Moby is very very difficult. I've I've actually only killed him, like maybe a dozen or so times. I've not really bothered doing it. There are quests that you can do to get, um, there are quests you can get to kill Moby, like getting his head and stuff. But uh, I, I don't find it all that 
useful myself, but that's something you can definitely do. Um, the other thing that I wanted to point out on the map was, oh yeah, these, like the shipwrecks and stuff. Every once in a while, you'll see like um, a, a ship has sunk. If you go to those areas, there's going to be sharks there. Um, sometimes mutated, like uh, sharks with mutations, so they're a lot uh, stronger. But the more rare the, the shipwreck is, so if it's like uncommon or rare or epic, the epic ones will give you better loot. So basically what you want to do is you want to get into this area and then you want to jump out of your boat and dive all the way to the bottom. And then you find the shipwreck down there and then the shipwreck will have a chest. When you open that chest, you'll get, you know, gems and other things. So um, it's good to do at the beginning. I don't really chase after those anymore, but uh, those are those are good to, to try out once in a while. Once somebody gets the chest, then it despawns. And if nobody goes for the chest, it'll just despawn after a while also. Uh, so that's another thing that you're going to want to look out for. There's also chests that spawn on the map. You can see these X's here. Uh, if you see those X's, you can go and find that chest and you can open it and you can get uh, gems from there. That's a really good way of farming gems. You can also do that on a private server. Uh, and that's a good, good way of getting gems. One other thing that I forgot to mention is the bait, the bait shop here, the bait store. You can't access this until you do, um, you'll get a quest at level 10. Um, to get some stuff and then you can actually um, access this. So to, uh, getting in here will give you access to bait and then you can equip the bait onto your rod and you can uh, fish with it or there's also scatterable bait that you can throw onto the water. I actually don't find them to work all that well to be honest but I don't know. It, that's, just, that's just what I've noticed. Um, you can also get the Midas bait from here which is that uh, the bait to catch the Midas fish but like I said, the chances of you getting that Midas fish is super, super small. It's like 0, 0.000 something percent. It's ridiculously tiny. So yeah, that's basically it. So that's all I've got for you guys. There's obviously, you know, game passes. Oh yeah, and there's also quests. There's achievements here you can get. So definitely check out the achievements because you can get, uh, a, you know, a good amount of stuff from completing those. Um, and then of course there's game passes and stuff. Um, there's codes, all that good stuff. So the game passes are actually in the store. Uh, the only ones that I would recommend getting are two times uh, two times coins. Yeah, two times coins is a good one, um, and uh, double XP. I, I don't I don't think I got that one. I got the two times coins and double catch chance. So those are the two that I that I ended up getting. Double catch chance will 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 be really good for um, grinding quests. So if you're trying to get like those twenty six bluefin tuna, every once in a while you'll get two of the fish. Um, and then that's really helpful when you get like a really, really good fish that sells for like 100,000 coins or something, you'll get two of those. So you'll get 200,000 coins. So yeah, those are those are the two that I would definitely recommend getting. So, okay, now I'm really done. So thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next time and we'll hopefully do another fishing simulator video um, on my main account if you guys wanna see that. And we'll definitely do some streams in this game as well. So um, yeah, and I also wanna check out the Kraken boss, but um, I haven't had a chance to do that yet. So thanks for watching. Please like the video, subscribe, uh, join the Discord server if you want to uh, chat with me and all the other members. And, you know, we, we chat about stuff on a regular basis and we have some fun stuff that we do on there as well. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.